Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So I've had a few people ask me to do an EDC video, and EDC stands for Everyday Carry, meaning the small items that you carry the, with you on a daily basis, uh, as far as being minorly prepared, or things that you have that are handy. So what you're looking at right now is my winter jacket, and that is my EDC. Everything that I carry with me on a daily basis is inside of one of the pockets of my jacket the reason i keep everything in those pockets is because they're very convenient to get to and they hold a lot of stuff although i don't carry a lot of things with me and i do have some things for the winter that i carry in the truck like i have a whole bunch of stuff that i carry in the truck so this is just my everyday carry of things that i have on a daily basis and I'm gonna go through them real quick and one of the reasons I like this jacket is because the pockets are so many I've got one two three four five I've got five six pockets in this jacket and they're all really handy to get to and I only really use like four pockets but one of the pockets that's my favorite is inside the jacket inside my right breast and it is perfect place for me to carry one of my flashlights now I carry around three flashlights with me every time I go somewhere uh, two of them are in my jacket and one of them is my keychain and let me show you how convenient it is uh, where I have one of the flashlights in this jacket now this is one of my favorite flashlights I love to carry it because it's so bright and it's so convenient and I mean this thing right here it's just the right size all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I'll be right back, and I'm going to show you everything that I carry spread out on the table. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing that I'm going to go through is my wallet. And there's really only two things in my wallet that I every day carry that probably, um, maybe not everyone carries on a regular basis. And, and maybe so, all right? I really don't know what individuals carry. But of course, you know, you're, I have my debit cards and whatever credit cards I have and my ID. One thing that I really like about this wallet, though, is that one of my IDs is in here, my military ID. And I can actually pull this little tab up and it pulls my ID up, which is really cool. Victor actually gave me this for Christmas. So I really like that part of it. But it's just a regular wallet. It's nice and compact. It's got two, um, whatchamacallits, two pockets in the front and this side, and one pocket on this side in addition to the one that has the ID in there. I like that it has a zipper. That way it doesn't just flop open on its own. And then on the inside, this is whatever I have. This is not like, you know, this is not like an everyday carry thing. If I only have two bucks on me, that's what I have in there. However, I always, I always have an emergency $20 bill in there. So I keep a $20 bill in here always, and I never spend it unless it's an emergency. I would rather use my debit card. Like, let's say, for example, I went to buy something at the store, and I was intending on using cash, but I ran out of cash, or I, or I didn't have enough cash. Before I spend this $20 bill that I have here for emergencies, I would rather use my debit card first before I did that. So this never gets spent unless it's an emergency. And it goes in there. And I always keep it in there and that's it. So that's always there. I also carry a business card that I got from, in this case, I got it from Verizon. But I don't really intend on using this business card. I don't really need it. But I keep it because there's a lot of writing space on there. And if I need to take a quick note, I'll have something to write on that I can write on, put it back in my wallet, and not lose it. All right? So it can be any kind of a card that you want to have in there. Okay? And that's all that I carry that I for sure carry on a daily basis in my wallet. It's that emergency $20 bill, one of those extra cards that I can write on. And then, of course, I have all of my you know, debit cards slash credit cards that I use on a daily basis. I carry a pen, and this is not one of those fancy pens that, you know, they're supposed to be able to write in the cold or the warm or underwater. This is just a cheap pen that I got from my bank, and it does the job. 
right? There's no, I honestly don't think there's any need in going out there and buying a $20 pen that's going to do the same thing as this. And as far as if it gets really cold outside, this is in my breast pocket, so it's always up against my body and it stays warm that way. So it's never failed me whenever I've needed to write with it. And when you ask yourselves how many times do you really need to take notes on a regular basis, it's probably not that many, but every time that I've needed it, it's always been fine. So nothing wrong with having something that didn't cost you anything. And of course, I always carry my chapstick with me, especially during winter time. And I've seen a lot of comments where people say that you can use chapsticks for a lot of things, that you can use it as a fire starter, which is true. You can actually make a candle out of it if you have a toothpick, which is true as well. But I use this for chapstick. And if need be, I could use it as a little bit of a fire starter as well if I needed to. Okay. Another thing that I always carry with me is a lighter. Now, this is a lighter that I carry with me everywhere in my pocket. One of those other lighters that you guys have seen me use before, I didn't bring one out right now. I don't have it out right now, but I always carry one inside my truck with my emergency bag. It's one of those little torch lighters that doesn't need a lot of uh, dexterity in your hands or your fingers for you to work them. But I always carry this inside my pocket just so that I can always have one on me in case I am away from my truck and for some reason I need a lighter for whatever reason it may be. Right? So there's another thing. Something that I always carry inside the pocket of my jacket is, this may seem weird, but I always carry a pair of nylon gloves or medical gloves, whatever you want to call them. Right? And I carry them for a couple of reasons. The first main reason I carry it for is if I have to handle something that's really nasty that I wasn't counting on or that I wasn't thinking I was going to have to handle that day and I don't want to get my hands really nasty. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is every once in a while I'll go get a five gallon can of gas or fuel and I like to put these on that way my gloves that I have won't smell like fuel and I can just take these and take them off and throw them away when I'm done with them. Uh, another thing is, is if you come up a, a, across a, an accident in a scene you can put these on right away and they'll be right by your pocket inside your breast where they'll be warm and easy to put on. You can put these on in, in about 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Right? And you'll always have them there and I always have a, a pair of these in my pocket. Even in the summer or in the non-winter times. In the non-winter months, I always wear a jacket also but it's just like a windbreaker. And I always carry all of this stuff inside that windbreaker as well. It never really gets so hot that you don't really that you can't put on a windbreaker or jacket here where I live in Alaska. There are a couple of weeks out of the month where it gets probably above 80, 85 degrees for a few weeks out of the month. I mean out of the year, not out of the month. For a few weeks out of the year where it gets above 85, maybe 90 degrees, but it's not that long. And during those times, I carry the very minimal with me if I'm not wearing a jacket. But my truck is always fully loaded with everything I need as far as emergencies. I have more gloves in my, in my, inside my truck. I have more lighters. I have another chapstick. I have other fire making materials inside my truck. So that's the other thing. Of course, I always carry my gloves with me, especially during winter. During summer, there's no need. But during winter, I always have my contact gloves on. And uh, these are my contact gloves, as I explained before. They're not really meant to keep your hands warm. They're meant to keep your hands from getting freezer burn in a way, if you want to call it, or, or contact freeze. All right? If you touch a piece of metal that's really, really cold, like let's say negative 30, negative 40 degrees with your bare skin, it can actually freeze your skin on contact. And that's called like a contact burn or something like that, or, or a cold burn. It literally like burns your skin by freezing it right away when you touch them. So that's what these are for. I keep my other gloves that are more heavy duty inside my truck. And whenever I need them, I have them right there with me. And of course, I keep my cheap little fleece hat. This is what I always wear. This is actually something that I still have with me from the military. These are the ones that they issue in the military. I'm not sure if they still issue this color or not. But I've had this forever and these things are actually very, very warm and they do a very good job. 
Another thing I carry around with me in my pocket all the time is a little knife. And it's just a little switch blade that I got. It's very sharp and it does a good job at cutting things. All right. This is not necessarily a utility knife as far as prying with it or stuff like that. But it's just a little knife that I can get to really quick with my left hand and that I don't really need to exert any kind of energy or need any dexterity in order to open it because it's just switch operated. All right, so I always have this with me in my in my pocket as well. This is very handy for cutting cordage. If I had to, I could actually cut my seat belt with this and it would be in my pocket where it would be easy to get to. So there's something else that I always carry around with me everywhere I go. And on my jacket, on the zipper of my jacket, as I explained to you all before, I carry around this is the very first EDC flashlight that I got for my jacket. It's very, very small. I think it's like maybe 10 lumen. But I have this on the zipper of my jacket. And I also have the Olight. I think this is the IR2 EOS Olight that I showed you all not too long ago, maybe a few videos ago. That's 150 lumen. So what I did was, is there's really nothing wrong with this small flashlight. But as you can see, this is only a 10 lumen light, right? where this is a 150 lumen light. So it's much nicer, it's much brighter. So what I do is, is I just take these and I hang both of these off of the zipper of my jacket. And they're always there. And then the last thing that I carry is of course my keychains. And on my keychains I have my other everyday carry Olight. This is the i3 EOS. The Olight i3 EOS. This is a 90 lumen flashlight, and this was my very first little Olight that I got, and I love this little flashlight just as much as I love the O2, I mean the I2. And this one is only 90 lumen, but it's a nice little flashlight. I really like it because it only requires a AAA battery, whereas the Olight I2 has an internal battery that you have to charge with a USB D, I believe it's a D USB, the small one. So I always carry this with me. And of course, I have a small carabiner that I hold everything together with, which is really not used for uh, any real weight. This is just strictly for, for keychains, and it's really not something that can be used tag, tagfully. All right. Now, some people may ask, do you not carry around any cordage? And I don't. I don't carry around any cordage inside of my uh, pockets or with me because I figure that if I ever really needed cordage in an emergency and I wasn't near my truck, inside of my truck I have a few hundred feet of 550 cord. But if I ever really needed cordage in an emergency and I'm not inside my truck or near my truck, if there's a real emergency like for a tourniquet or something like that, I could always use my shoelaces that I have. Okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is everything that I carry with me on a daily basis. It's not really much. And being that I carry it around inside of my jacket, it really makes it to where it's not in the way of anything. I don't have any of this stuff bulging in my pockets or anything like that. And it's really easy to carry. So, hey, let me know in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, if there are some things that you would add to my everyday carry or let me know let us know what everyday carry items you carry around that way the rest of us can get some ideas that maybe we haven't thought of and that we can use off of your recommendation having said that thank you very much for joining in ladies and gentlemen I told you it was gonna be a quick video today but I just thought it'd be a nice fun video to show you guys uh, what my everyday carry is is and, and to encourage you all to let us know what your everyday carries are that way we can learn off of your list and maybe add something to our everyday carry that uh, we are not currently using off of your recommendation. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I'm out. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to show you this. I also carry this in my pocket in my jacket all the time. It goes in my left-hand pocket. And this is just a headlamp. I think this is probably the more, the more important flashlight that I have than the other ones that I have. Because this is something that you can use without needing your hands. 
And the reason I carry this on a daily basis is because whenever I'm unloading fuel or whenever I'm unloading water and it's dark outside, I need the use of both my hands. And this is something that I always use every time that I'm unloading either fuel or water. So this is actually something that I really do recommend. If you're only going to have one flashlight to carry around with you, then I would definitely carry around a headlamp. Now, they sell smaller ones that you can actually probably put in your pocket or something like that. But I definitely would get one that's a good amount of lumen. That way you can have plenty of light to work with. Being that if you are using this, it's probably because you're needing to do something that you need both your hands for. So if you're only going to have one, this is what I would choose if I were only going to have one flashlight with me.